Hey, I'm Mark. In this project, we're going to be building an extra large mirror frame, 7 inches wide. It's roughly 43 inches by 49. Uh, she was wanting something really big on this wall to, to pull off how big this room is. and I'm leaving some of the sawmill cuts in it. Well, the first thing I want to do is get my measurement of the mirror. And I want to do about a 7 inch wide frame around it and have one side thicker than the other and you can't do this on a table saw you just don't have the, a big enough blade and <clears throat> we're gonna cut them out of this cant here and so let's get over to the sawmill and we'll get it up at an angle well, the first thing I want to do now that I've got the cant fastened down <clears throat> is go ahead and just take a shaving off the top it's got a little bit of a twist and warpness to it <clears throat> as it's dried out over the last year and a half so we'll, we'll get a nice flat face to start with. All right, now that I got the top trued up, I got it at an angle. I just put a shim in under there about three quarters, five eighths, three quarters of an inch shim to get it cocked at that angle. And I set the blade the thick end is going to be about an inch and three-eighths thick and the thin end about three-quarters. cut you can see I got a nice match of height thickness next thing I want to do is cut the length what we'll do is measure the length of your mirror and then you cut it a half inch smaller from your smallest measurement inside to inside so a half inch smaller that gives you a quarter inch overlap to hang on to the mirror so we'll get it measured up bring it over to the cutoff saw and then get it assembled ready to make our cut it's critical that when you put it in your saw that you keep the square side down you can see this corner and this corner here is square but it's not square from the top to the side this is at a taper you always want that up so it lays flat in your table saw and you get a nice <clears throat> the right angle when you join your two quarters corners together Well, you can see I got a good, nice, tight, accurate joint. If I would have cut it the other way, then you would end up with a, an off angle here, the wrong side down back on the saw. Now that we got all our pieces made, I want to cut a, a rabbit out of it so that the glass, will, the mirror will fit down in here. Kind of see how I've done this one already. And we're going to do this with the router. I'm going to go to the router table, though. <clears throat> Since I'm rough cutting it and um, it's got little imperfections in the wood, you can see the router will fall in them little holes, the little ball bearing on it. So I'm going to use the router table with a fence to do all the routering. simple all right now that we have the groove cut underneath for the mirror to slip in we're gonna add a little bit of uh, decoration to it if you want to call it that again that's done with the router too we're gonna take it over to the router table and just uh, put put that added a little bit to it and we're also going to round this edge off just a little bit and give it a good sanding paint it white well, we're ready to join the corners 
I'm going to use the biscuit cutter. Just cut two slices. Glue it together. I'm not going to nail it together. Um, just glue it for now because in case my wife don't like the width of it, I can still run it through the jointer and, and reduce this side without worrying about running into a nail. Now next, I'm going to get it all glued up. I dry fitted everything, went ahead and put the glass in. <clears throat> everything fitted well, so. I got it all glued. See the joint came together and glue squeezed out. Let well, that dry a few hours and give it a good sanding. Put the um, <clears throat> two coats of paint on it. Alright, next we're going to give it a coat of an off-white paint. It's a, an Amy Howard chalk-based paint. I'm going to give it two coats. I will not sand between the coats. Um, I sanded it, but I didn't excessively sand it. Uh, I used a 120 grit as fine as I went. I want to leave some of the salt mill marks in it and um, let it look a little more antique. Put the mirror in. Sorry for the noise. It is been storming here for the last few days. I still got one more coat of paint to do on the other side, but I thought I'd go ahead and install everything. That way I don't scratch it up moving it around. Got the hanger hook. See how the screws. Nothing fancy. I got a bigger one on the top. Well, we'll flip it over and get the final coat of paint on it. Well, that's the finished product. I just got a cheap bathroom mirror at Lowe's for the mirror, and uh, she's happy with the width of it and how it turned out. Appreciate y'all watching.